Hey, I'm Rob Jones, and I'm going to guide you through the differences between live, logic, and reason. Three of the most popular music making software packages available today to help you decide which one will best suit your needs. I'm going to try and deliver the most unbiased comparison that I can, as they each have their own unique features and different pros and cons, and with a good understanding of how to use them, can all be used to make professional sounding music. First, a little history then. We'll start with the oldest of the bunch, Logic, which was created by eMagic in 1993, when it was released on the Atari as Logic Notator. It's obviously evolved a lot since then, with the supported operating systems also changing a number of times over the years, most noticeably when Apple bought Logic in 2002, when they discontinued support for the Windows version. Since then, they've brought out four new versions, and, now on Logic Pro 9, have a very comprehensive and more Mac-friendly DAW that will satisfy any serious music producer's needs. Then there's Propellerhead's Reason, which appeared in 2000, in the form of a quirky and highly appealing MIDI program, which emulated a hardware studio in both looks and function, allowing you to build your own virtual rack of instruments and effects, and even cable them up the way you wanted. Over the years, they added new devices to the palette, but the largest change came this year, when they merged with the sister app Record, made for budding songwriters, to create Reason 6, which now has full audio support, making the app a much more comprehensive program and more comparable to the other two apps in this movie. And lastly, there's Ableton Live, which appeared on the scene just after Reason at the start of the millennium, but is already now on version 8. Its initial key feature was the Session View Grid, where any audio could be dragged into slots and instantly warped and played in various combinations in a non-real-time way, making it ideal for a performance situation. Although the early versions were more focused on ease of use and speed, revamps to the audio engine and numerous other updates since have made this app one of the leading programs for producers as well as performers today. So what can they all do? Well, each one of these apps comes with a host of instruments, the number of which varies depending on whether you buy the full or cut-down versions of the software, of course. They all provide synths, samplers, drum instruments and more, all with a number of factory presets that you can load instantly onto MIDI tracks and start playing. All of the programs have a sequencing area, where you can record or draw in MIDI clips or regions for these instruments that then become the building blocks for your song. If you'd rather record parts instead of sequence them, then you can lay down vocal or instrumental passages by recording them into audio tracks, where they can be edited by shifting around the segments of audio, or even changing the timing of individual parts, with all these three programs having a built-in time-stretching facility, where the audio waveforms can literally be dragged to the beat to get the timing right. All three programs also have comprehensive mixers, where you can balance your tracks, and apply various effects to them. So what are the differences between the apps then? Well, for starters, unlike Live and Logic, Reason has never been thought of as a true DAW, or Digital Audio Workstation. This is largely because, until recently, it's only been a MIDI program, but also because it doesn't support any third-party software, so allow any external plug-in instruments or effects to be used with it, whereas the other two apps do. That said, the instruments and effects that it comes with are all excellent, and there's an extensive list, which all have great support from companies like Loopmasters with regard to additional presets that you can buy. There are two drum samplers on offer, Redrum, an 808-style device with an onboard sequencer for programming beats, and the Mighty Kong, which is a really cool MPC-style drum instrument, which allows synthesizing as well as sampling of drums, with some nice onboard effects processing too although more advanced processing of drums on the main mixer, or with the other reason effects, does require some trickier patching to set up. Logic's drum instrument, Ultrabeat, is one of my favourites. It offers even more comprehensive drum synthesising and sampling capabilities, also with an onboard sequencer, which allows beat programming and even automating of drum parameters. These drums can also be processed individually with external Logic effects, although it does require you to set up auxiliary channels on the main mixer. Live offers drum racks, which may not be the winner in terms of creating your own drum sounds, but are the best in terms of speed and ease of use, as is the way with much of Live. 
you can instantly drop drum samples onto pads to add them to the rack. And then drag effects to any of those drums too. And they can even be instantly mixed on their own channels in the main mixer. After which you can fold them away to simplify the mixer display. Live also provides instrument and audio effects racks, with a number of factory presets to choose from, or that you can construct yourself, in order to instantly add more advanced instrument and effects setups to your session. Reason also offers a similar feature, in the form of the Combinator, which likewise has a number of factory presets to choose from for instant instrument or effects configurations. Logic has no such feature, although its effects range is very good, and more extensive than the other two, making the need for such a feature less essential. For example, Logic includes less common effects like a standalone de in its standard range, whereas the other two apps provide such things in rack or combi format. Logic also has cool effects like an enveloper, giving more control over a waveform's contours. However, a rack or combinator feature would be an excellent addition to the software to improve flexibility and customization. The new Reason 6 Mixer is a fantastic new feature. It's an emulation of an SSL desk and has the great sound and all the trimmings that you'd expect from that console, with the built-in EQ, filters, compressor and gate for every channel. So this is an excellent upgrade to Reason, where previous versions of the software only featured the Mixer 14-2 device in the rack. One slight downside to Reason is that the editing of audio isn't quite as comprehensive as with the other two apps. What with it being a new feature and all. But, like Logic, it does feature an easy-to-use comping facility for slicing together bits from different takes of a looped recording. Although Live doesn't have that particular feature, it's certainly not short on USPs, with the grid, or session view mode, being a massive plus, both in the studio as well as on the road. It's definitely the best way of jamming and coming up with ideas for a song, and, once a basic groove is constructed, it couldn't be simpler to start producing it, as hitting record on the transport lays out any clips played in session view into the arrangement as the song position marker scrolls along the timeline. Although the relationship between these two view modes takes a moment to get your head round, once you're there, it can be massively beneficial to the way you compose your music. In addition to this, all areas of the software fuse together brilliantly, with editing modes and all instruments and effects seamlessly integrated into the main software window to maximise workflow and make virtually anything possible. Even getting extremely technical with Live almost never leads to dead ends. One minor complaint with Logic is the handling of its instruments and effects. Although they're built into the software, they're treated like external plugins. As such, they're loaded into a session in the same way as third-party software would be. This means that their integration isn't quite the same as with the other apps. And, for example, it's not possible to undo individual control changes, which can be annoying at times. In summary then, the software you decide to buy should be based around the features you think will be most important to you. As I said, they're all great apps, and once you've mastered them, can all be used to make high quality music. So it's a matter of preference for sure. Logic is a stylish platform, with some excellent instruments and a huge range of great sounding effects. It comes with tons of presets for devices, as well as channel strip setups, Apple loops, and all sorts, to get you going straight away. But its poor customizability and ease of use in certain areas can let it down. With its minimal design, Live may not look as good to some, but its flexibility and fantastic workflow make it a godsend for almost all music making situations. Although its instrument range isn't quite as large as the other two, those that it does offer are highly evolved and very user customizable, making advanced signal processing achievable in seconds. And Reason, though it may not accept third-party plugs, does provide everything you need within the app itself, with a fine array of instruments and effects, and a great new mixing console to boot. Despite lagging slightly behind when it comes to getting super technical with your production, it does have a uniqueness and special quality of its own, most closely resembling a real-life studio, whilst also offering the benefits of the digital domain. It's the only app to feature a blocks arrangement facility, for example, which allows multiple sections of a song to be edited simultaneously. Once you've chosen your app and want to learn how to use it, check out my online music production schools by following the links at the end of this movie, where you can sign up to beginners or advanced courses 
for all three of these superb software packages. And there's also a coupon code provided, which gives you 20% off. I hope you found this movie informative and useful, and now have a better understanding of what's available, allowing you to pick the software that works best for you. Bye for now.